cute institute. You're clever, you're caring, you're cute. Institute! Come on over here on my lap, Anzu. I want to read a story about a very clever ladybug. Okay, like the ladybug we saw at the farm? It might be the very same one. Once upon a farm, there lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse, and a dainty dog, a fine prize cow, two cats that purred, and a ladybug who never said a word. And the cow said, <coughs> and the hen said, <coughs> said the goose, and <coughs> said the duck, <coughs> said the horse, <coughs> said the hog, <coughs> said the sheep, <coughs> said the dog, and one cat, <coughs> while the other purred. And the ladybug never said a word. But the ladybug saw, and the ladybug heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, This is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate in the dead of night, pass the horse, and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hawk, be careful to not wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. Then help was the ladybug's very first word. And gather round were the second and third. And she told the animals, this is how. Two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate in the dead of night, past the horse, and then turn right, round the duck pond, past the hog, be careful to not wake the dog, left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the cow said, <coughs> and the hen said, <coughs> said the goose, and <coughs> said the duck, <coughs> said the horse, said the hog, said the sheep, said the dog, and both cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybug told them not to fear, and she whispered her plan into every ear. In the dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, Open the gate where the farmer slept, and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, <coughs> with all her might, and Len said, that's the horse, turn right. And the dainty dog began to, <coughs> the duck, said Hugh, we're right on track, <coughs> said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful to not wake the dog, <coughs> said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, <coughs> Two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond splosh. And the farmer woke and said, Pish posh. And he called the cops, and they caught the men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len. And the cow said, <coughs> and the hen said, <coughs> said the goose, and <coughs> said the duck, <coughs> said the horse, <coughs> said the hog, <coughs> said the sheep, said the dog, and the farmer cheered, and both cats purred, and the ladybug never said a word.
Whoa, that cow almost had a icky, horrible, awful night. You're right, but because the ladybug was so clever and she had lots of friends to help her, they were able to save that cow from an icky, awful night. You know that reminds me of you and all of the kids at home. You are so clever, and I know. With the right kind of friends, you too may be able to save one of your friends from having an icky, awful, horrible night. Cute and so cute. I mean, cute and so cute.